Hey everyone, and welcome back to part two of the Chevy logo graphing tutorial. So, uh, so last week uh, we only did the uh, outline for for logo, and I said that this week we were we're going to color it. So we have two choices of going about this. So I'm using a reference image, and in the reference image. Uh, it's got a silver border on the outside and, and a bit of gold uh, on the inside. We don't have access to a silver color, but the closest one that we have to it is, is a shade of black, which is, which, is, which is pretty much a really dark gray. So we, we can we can either color everything everything that's not inside, we can color everything that's outside the logo black and leave the border white, or we can do the other way around where we where we uh where we color the border white and leave the outside blank. So I will show you how to do both. So so first one that, that I'm gonna do is is that i want to want to show you how to color in in the border and and then i'll show you the alternate version which is which is um which is coloring everything that's not included in in the in the in the logo but the way we start is the same so so we're first going to define define boundaries so this so the line with it with the most restriction it's the line already here. So this this line it goes from negative one to one. So we'll go from negative one to one at y equals one point five, and that line is going to it is going to end at, at two, and we're going to just put and we're just going to color region it. All right, I'll show you a few more, and then and I and uh, I will I will I will just jump to the end. So for this part right here, this this boundary right here is shorter than this boundary right here. So the boundary that I'll, that I'll that I'll care about is the one is one with with the with the smallest boundaries. So this one is going to go from negative one point five to was that negative one? Yeah, that's going to start from one, zero point five, and that line is also going to stop at two. All right, um, and and then let's do a few more. So this, so from over here, we want to go from one. Is that one that looks more like two and but it's 2.625 that's yeah, 2.625 go from 2.625 all the way up to negative 1.5 so his next line is going to be 2.625 all the way to negative 1.5 That's going to start at 0 0.5 and that's going to stop at 1.5. This one? Okay. Alright, and the right, and then for the next line, I will do this one. And for this one, we can just copy this. Paste it here. We cut the grid from the line up front. Put it in here, and we're gonna see. Oh, oh, this is oh, this is y bounds, not x bounds. Okay. Uh, in that case, we need to find out what what this point is, which is two point eight seven five. Thank you. 
go all the way up to negative 2.625. And our, and our shaded region is going to go up to this line, which looks to be 1. All right, I'll do one more. It's going to go from negative 3 all the way to negative 2.875. And for this one, we're starting at the top. And so with top, instead of less than or equal to 2, we're going to do greater than or equal to 2. So we're standing all the way down to negative 1. All right, so for so for, for the rest of the border, um, you do the same thing. And, and uh, and I'll come back and uh, and just do and just fill in the rest with you. All right, um, and we're back. Uh, so uh, I finished coloring the entire outline. So, so I've been so I've been thinking about uh, if I want to color the the outside with you or do the inside. Uh, and I figured it's better if I color the outside. And for those who are happy with how this looks right now, I will I will provide a a time link to the part of the video where where uh, I will actually start coloring this. So, um, all right. With that said, uh, I will I will start coloring the outside. Uh, well, first uh, I want to clear out all the parts that I have shaded in already. And it's going to start shading on the outside. So to disable, well, you can just click on. I don't know what, to, what I forgot what to call, but uh, you can click on these things on the sides. The the visibilities on the sides. All right. Uh, so to color the outside. Uh, we want to define. We want to color everything that is not included on here. So, we, so um, for example, we want to we want to color everything above it. We would still define find the bounds. This is less than one point five. We would still define the bounds and and a line that's going to start at. But when we were coloring the inside, we would. Uh, we would say this is this is less this is less than or equal to, this is greater than or equal to y uh, because it's the upper bound and now th this is going to be the lower bound. So to define that as a lower bound, we're going to say a, everything ab everything above it is going to be defined, but ignore everything below it. So so we're going to do the same thing with this one. So with this one, the bounds are. See the bounds are uh six yep, negative three to negative one point five. So it's negative three to negative one point five at one and all that's all that is gonna be less than the y. Alright, so for this one we do the same thing. This one goes from negative three point five to three. We need the equation on the line. Five, three, oh, this is at the line that I had copied. And it's the same deal. This is also a lesser than the y.
Okay, and since this process is like much quicker than coloring the inside, uh, I'm, I'm not going to jump, so I'm going to do the rest in here. This is from negative 3.5 all the way up. And we don't have to worry about 1 8 so, so that's a big plus with that. This is at you know, 1. Okay, now, uh, now we want this to be the upper bound, which is why you have a greater than any sign. If I move it up. Uh, and then this one's going to be negative two. This is from uh, one point five. Sorry, I'm going to go a little fast. Uh, uh, doing this as if I'm doing this on my own. Uh, it's just going to go from three to. Uh, at negative one. This equation. Let's do one more. Is from 0.5 to 3.5. I'm going to be at 1. Okay, we are almost done. Because I realize we still need to. Color everything to the left of the logo and everything to the right of the logo. So to do that, well, you can say x is less or equal to negative three point five, and well, I'll say this. No, oh, or the rest on a separate line. Okay, I do realize there's a line there. Because what this is doing is that it draws a line. It, it is the normal way you draft inequalities. You don't just shade everything. In, you draw the line with it. So the equation of this line is really x is equal to negative 3.5 and shade everything to the left of it. And same thing with this one, it says x is less, x is greater than equal to 3.5 and share everything to the right of it. Right, um, so yeah, uh, so, uh, so as, so as far as I know, uh, there's nothing to really do with the line. Well, unless you, unless you would do the first bit, which is just coloring the, the inside, but that's not helping. Uh, anyways, uh, so this is, this is how you color everything not included in a logo. And uh, in this next segment, uh, I want to be coloring every coloring in this actual inner part, uh, which we're going to make gold. And fortunately, there is a color for that. It's right here. So here's what it looks like. All right. Uh, so uh, let's welcome back. And in this segment, we're going to be coloring everything that is inside this logo. Uh, well, my personal preference. Uh, I don't like having everything outside shaded. I like having everything inside shaded. So I'm going to do exactly that. Uh, so, so I'm going to start undoing everything. And I will redo everything that, that, that we have before. Doesn't really matter on the order. Uh, well, what does matter is if you color first or if you draw lines first. Uh, because then, then the color for the line will be drawn over the line that you had before. So 
I scared from him. I thought I had to click on all 42 of these guys. I guess it looks like not. Oh wait, so um, so when we call the inside, we, we, we have the same process uh, as, as we did when we were coloring the, the inside of it. So we still need the equation and it's the, it's the only big difference that we have here is just the color that I'm going to use. What is that? Negative 165? So you first define the boundaries like you normally do, and, and you still put in the know that, and you still put in the the line that you want to use. You're going to bound it in the region that you want to have it bound in. It should be negative half. This is the first piece of logo that's colored. Alright, uh, I'll show you again for the next one, so we do negative 2.625 and that is left right to negative 1 That's going to go all the way up to what? Half? There you go. I guess orange. Okay, the next portion will be from negative half. to positive half the negative one excuse me uh, and that is going to start at negative 1.5 and it's going to end at 1.5 so we have, we got two more to go uh, it's going to, this is going to go from one Oh, at 0.625 is going to start at at negative one, no negative half to half. And this can go from Why is it, why is it, this looks a little bit off. Let me double check this. No, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Oh, just me. All right. Um. So this is. So this is the entire local colored. Um. Uh, Well, I got nothing else to say to you other than uh, I will see you next week.